Hey guys, this is Pablo with BND, and today we're gonna be reviewing Rise, Race the Future. All right, all right, don't get that excited, okay? For me, there are two types of racing games. You have the casual racing game, and you have what I like to call the pro racing game. Casual racing games for me are games like Need for Speed, where physics are there, but to a point where it doesn't interfere with a casual gameplay. Now, the pro type, well, that goes more in the sides of like Formula One, where if you even hit a little bit of wind, it will affect your car. What is really great when you when you want like a realistic game, but not so good when you just want to get in the game, race a couple of cars and be done with. Now, Rise is a great game. Graphics are really good, fairly realistic, but like I always say, graphics do not do much for gameplay sometimes. In the case of Rise, I had some issues and I liked a lot of things too. One of the things I liked was graphics and the physics of the game. Graphics are amazing, physics really, really great. Things work just as they should in the real world, for the most part, at least. So that was really enjoyable uh, to play a game like that. Now the things I had the issues with was physics, and that's because I enjoy racing as a casual player and it had a huge learning curve with this game when it goes into physics, because if uh, another car touches you or if you use your nitro in the curve or if you overcompensate too much, you're gonna completely spin. But as a driver for many years, I can say that's what would happen to your car. So you really have to be careful while playing this game in the sense of physics. What can be enjoyable, but it also can give people a lot of issues. Other things that I was the biggest fan of the game is, the game has a couple of modes to play. One of them is, you know, your whole championship and the other one's the arcade mode. One of the things that I felt the game could actually have put in and it would really help the game was a multiplayer mode basically because a lot of uh, racing games it doesn't matter how realistic the game is i always enjoyed playing with other people other players and you don't have that choice in this game and i think for a game that is fairly realistic on its gameplay i think it would have been great that's a downside on the game it could be something that eventually they change on the game, I don't know. Um, the game is for multi, it's a multi-platform game, so I'm not so sure how much they would change that, or maybe in a future game they come out with. For me, the controller didn't have so much of a flow, it didn't feel as natural as I would have hoped for. Again, uh, easy fix on that, uh, I just had to go to options and change a couple of buttons here and there. I also didn't like the brake and the handbrake as much, mostly because when you go to drift, a lot of times you use the brake really quick or the handbrake, and it, it, may, it may have to do with the whole situation where the game feels the physics are very realistic. It kind of took a little bit from the gameplay, but again, it's my opinion. It's, it's like I said, I'm a casual racing player, so for me, it kind of took a little bit of the fun that same physics affects the other cars, so even if you give a love tap to the other cars, they'll feel it, but at the same time you will as well. So like I said, it really depends on the person's gameplay. It's a huge learning curve, game like that. It took me a few hours to actually get used. I was able to get second place in a race and then like last place. You start with the option of two cars. One of them has great grip and the other one has no grip at all, but for some of the tracks it's the best car. So you do have to play around with the tracks and see which car is best for each one of them. Again, more cars open after. I didn't even got to that. While I enjoy the game, I like racing games that are more straightforward, some of them even not realistic, like you just make things explode around you. But again, I think that game is a game that will be for a niche, but not for another one. It's probably a game that a lot of people are gonna love, 
and a lot of people are gonna hate so if you search on Steam you're probably gonna be going to find a lot of mixed reviews on the game. You gotta have to look what type of player you are, what type of gamer you are and see if the game's for you. What I can say, to give a fair score to the game, I would give this game a C+. And I would have given even a higher score if the game actually had multiplayer mode or a co-op. But since it doesn't, I will have to leave with a C+. Still, some people may look at this game and give an A- or an A+. But it will have to do with what type of gamer they are. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Uh, don't forget to sign up for BND, hit that notifications bell, give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you again.